Hello guys and welcome back to another underrated gaming video and today I have some Battlefield 4 gameplay for you guys as I said I'll be recording on my PlayStation 4 and any other consoles that you guys request but anyway let's get right into the topic what is your favorite console leave a comment below telling me your favorite console mine is I'm gonna get straight into it mine is the PlayStation 2 by far um, I got the, the PlayStation 2 probably around when I was like eight years old um, it was announced March 1st of 1999 and it uh, was released March 4th 2000 and it was in the sixth generation of consoles with the Sega Dreamcast Xbox original the uh, GameCube that was all in the same um, sixth generation um, yeah so it came out then and they sold up to about now they sold um 155 million units over 155 million units and they sold they have more than three three uh, thousand titles they got like around four thousand titles for the PlayStation 2 and they sold 1.5 billion copies of games in, in all they have 4,000 games and they sold 1.5 billion copies that is a lot of copies of uh, games that this is the console with the most games I believe I'm not 100% on that don't quote me on that but I'm assuming that it is considering it has like 4,000 games and these new generation consoles I'd probably have around a thousand at most I'd say like the PlayStation 3 I don't even know what that has but in general the PlayStation 2 had a lot of games and had a lot of really good games this is why it's one of my favorites because of how many they have a lot of exclusives they had a lot of amazing games that came out a lot of the games that you play today were originally released on the PlayStation 2 and their series that are continuing today I mean there are series like Sly Cooper Jack and Daxter Ratchet and Clank God of War I mean so many titles um Rule of Rose which is um also Shadow of the Colossus I have played Shadow of the Colossus great game it's a little different, um, but it's a really good game. Definitely check that out if you guys have not played that. But the PlayStation 2 featured a, a motion engine, which they, which is the CPU, clocked at 294 megahertz. And if you have the newer ones, I first got a slim, so I'm assuming that would be considered the newer one, 299 megahertz for the CPU. It featured memory, 32 megabytes of direct RAM bus, and it also featured a 40 gigabyte hard drive. Um, I believe that might have been an add-on. I'm not 100% on that. Um, it, I'm sure it came with a hard drive. But I don't know if it was that big. But anyway, it also, you know, you had your basic memory cards. They were around probably like 8 megabytes, which is crazy because if you go on the PS4 today, I'm downloading things that are like freaking 30 gigabytes and things like that. I mean, you think about how much storage that stuff took. I mean, like... The GameCube as well was like in the same thing, it had like 16 to 8 megabytes around there. They were all around the same at the time, taking up no space at all. And that's insane, I mean, how it changed in time. Because, I mean, the graphics increased, the maps got bigger, I mean, the gameplay is different, everything's different today. But basically, the PlayStation 2 revolutionized everything. This is like one of the game systems that started so many of the titles that we've been playing today. I mean, I'm pretty sure you're like Call of Duty even started on here, and a bunch of those games that we're playing, I mean, I know that Call of Duty was for Xbox as well, and I know that Xbox started the Halo, I'm pretty sure, on the original, and the, basically, the PlayStation 2 uh, was the top of the line right then. It was better than, like, any other console. Xbox original, I'm, I don't, I never had, I have one, but I never really played it then. I never had it. I always started with PlayStation. I had a PlayStation 1, which was also a great console, and a PlayStation 2. My first console was an N64, which I also, that's probably within my top few favorites as well great console um super smash brothers is awesome all those things but definitely the playstation 2 is my favorite console the amount of games and the variety i mean star wars battlefront that's another one star wars battlefront star wars battlefront 2 and now star wars battlefront 3 is coming out for the playstation 4 which i have already pre-ordered i'm awaiting that I, I did download the um the beta i have not given it a try yet but maybe i'll record some of that for you guys so you guys can check that out as well I will probably be doing that maybe maybe another video tomorrow with the gameplay of that because I haven't played it yet so maybe I'll do it in my first try I mean I don't know how good I'm gonna be at it I mean, I'm not even that good at Battlefield Battlefield I just got it I had Battlefield 3 for the PlayStation 3 I didn't really like it so um, my friend told me about Battlefield 4 and I was like alright I guess I'll pick that up and it was much better I didn't expect it I mean it only got like an 8 out of 10 which isn't terrible it's pretty good 
But I mean, this, it has no story. The game it's all online play. It's just like Call of Duty. Like, do you buy a Call of Duty game for the story, or do you buy it for the online play and like zombies and things like that? Like all those add-on games. I mean, you mainly buy it for the just the online modes. You don't buy it for the content, the story. I mean, what story? I mean, do you really know the story of Call of Duty? Like, how many people can say that they have played every game, played through every story, and know like the whole storyline? I mean, I know I played Call of Duty, but I never played anything but like. My real main ones that I played are just like Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops, Modern Warfare 3, and that's it. Cause I don't, I mean, I'm not a huge Call of Duty fan. I mean, I know a lot of people are. I mean, still play it. I mean, I might get the new one, but that doesn't mean it's gonna be like my favorite game. I mean, it's Call of Duty. It's just one of those series that just keep going on. Like I said, it started on the, I think pretty sure it started on PlayStation 2 and Xbox original. I mean, everyone probably, that, that was like that revolutionary shooter right there or whatever. And I mean, you had Medal of Honor in your basic titles. I'm not sure when Battlefield came out. I, I've seen it on the PS3, so I'm assuming it started on the PS3, but don't quote me on that either because I'm not sure because I've never really kept up with the Battlefield series as other people. Like, I've kept up like Call of Duty as more like because I just you just hear the title all the time. So it depends really on that. But yeah, so I hope you guys really enjoy this gameplay. Um, I, I believe there's two fights that I, uh, two rounds that I have in here. So please check that out and I will catch you guys next time. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and tell me how you uh, like my new content. I'm, I'm, I'm trying. I want to give you guys other videos, like I said, since I'm trying to quit Conquer, or at least take a break for a while because I'm tired of playing. You know, and I might do the Wings video whenever they come out. That's about it. So anyway, please leave a comment, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace.